today is the day, guys. It's the day 15. Today is the day that we get off the trail so we can head to the city and fix the gear problems. And then, as soon as I possibly can, getting back out here to finish. Hopefully it's just a few days. So I have to go down several hundred miles south. It sucks, but, you know, I have a feeling that I'm going to cause permanent damage to my feet if I don't fix the shoe problem. And I don't want to have to boil every day. That sucks. I mean, I can do it, but if I was in more of a stationary situation, I totally would stay, but moving so far in a short amount of time, I need a filter. And I hope that they'll let me return this mat, this uh, sleeping pad just because I can't sleep well. <laughs> so, let's see what happens today. This will be my first time hitchhiking. First time even trying to hitchhike. It looked like the lens fogged up on my end. Come on. <laughs> my battery bank has officially died. I'll be able to charge it today too, so hey! been sitting here all night so it's cool water yes uh, this is gonna be so much harder we used to doing it the other way oh yeah <laughs> nice so we got about two liters of water so basically here's my toiletry kit I've got a little, like, three times use deodorant in there. I wish it was a lighter option, but, I mean, hey, trying to hitch a ride, you gonna have to smell good. Small, small little, uh, toothpaste and a toothbrush that has been modified to be a stubby. Then in there, there's also, uh, soap and bug spray in a separate bag. I keep this stuff in the food bag because it has a scent. Pretty much anything that has a scent I throw in the food bag, which then I keep everything in a uh, scent proof bag. Then it hangs. That's the clip for the scent proof bag. Very important. Well, I just put deodorant on for the first time in however long it's been. <laughs> it's time to assimilate back to society, but not for too long. Wild man's gotta come back out. Be out in the wilderness. Honestly, it felt like it took forever for me to pack up. Wow. So, we're off to the trailhead, which is off 61. We're gonna hold out our thumb and hope that some person picks up this crazy ass. Okay. make our way up to the trailhead and uh, hopefully hitch a ride to Cascade River. It's the elusive tree shoe. Parking lot. <laughs> I wonder how long I'm gonna be out here doing this. <laughs> My 
Well, I managed to get down to Luston. So now I'm just off of 61. I'm gonna try to get uh, up farther now. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where I'm at, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check up on the on the phone. <laughs> hey, it works. I wasn't actually standing out at Caribou for that long. That's great. Thank you, uh, whoever you were <laughs> who gave me a ride. If you ever see this, thank you a lot. When you're trying to hitchhike and people just keep waving at you. What? 10 o'clock. Still no luck. Not many cars heading towards the north. Still off of 61. Decided to keep moving. I don't know what's down here. But this is the Poplar River. There's stuff like this all over the place out here. Beautiful place. Now if I could just hitch a ride. So a guy in an RV picked me up and brought me right up to it. It's awesome. This is so great. Well, I started trying to hitch at like, what, eight? It's now just about 10.45. I've made it back to Cascade River. That is awesome. You guys have no idea how excited I am to get back to my car. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I still got a little bit to go. I can't imagine it's more than a mile or two on this trail to get back to the campground, which is where my car is at. And then, uh, I think I'm gonna stay here for the night. There should be spots open. I mean, it's Tuesday. And then tomorrow morning, I think I head at, out. Or I might stay here, I don't know. See, the reason I wanna stay here is so I can get a shower. But if I can sneak one in, but I wanna say goodbye to the guys, or to the staff at the office because I told him I'd stop in. Um, <laughs> and if they see me show up clean and showered, they might be like, hmm, I wonder where you took a shower at. <laughs> oh, kinda out of breath. Stairs without trekking poles, guys. Oh, oh look, there's Cascade Falls from day one. It's not going as much as uh, it was when I was up here 14 days ago. Oh, I don't remember there being so many stairs. Okay. So as I was saying, because I don't have a shower uh, down south where I'm going. So showering here is pretty much my only option and I need to take a shower because I haven't taken a shower in 14 days. I can see all the dirt all over me because I still have to wash all this gear because I can't return it being all dirty. I need to return the gear so I can replace all the stuff so hopefully this goes well. I just had a thought. I'm not exactly sure if my car is going to start, so. But hey, that's why I got roadside assistance, right? <laughs> A big thanks to the people who gave me water and who gave me rides to make it all the way back up here. So. But once I get all my gear sorted out, then I'll probably just come back up here and finish the rest of it. Oh my god, there's the trail center. And there's my car. I see my car through the trees. I see it through the trees. I see the cars through the trees. I'm excited to see my car through the trees.
you know, I stay in my car a lot, so it's kind of like coming back home. <laughs> okay. Oh, the key is in the pack. All right, guys, if it unlocks, it has battery. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna start it, make sure it starts. If it starts, I'm home free. Yeah, I've got lights in there. <laughs> I don't know where my other hat is, so we're just gonna flaunt the uh, amazingly dirty hair. I'm gonna see if the trail center has got a uh, pop machine or something. <laughs> oh, it smells like straight up cedar in here. dark but is that really the size of a loon? Loons are a lot bigger than I thought, huh? Well, but, 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 ho 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 pop. It's like I don't even know how to use money anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, and it's only a dollar. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't even need this extra change. My hands are so used to hitting the trekking poles that it's gotten hard to move my hands. Please take this, it's a little wet. Okay guys, here we go. Here we go. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> four days, five days since uh, Silver Bay, so Silver Bay had much of a better reaction. Oh, I'm so putting these on. Get me out of these horrible shoes. <laughs> I'm just gonna rock the socks with the sandals for now. My feet are in pretty rough shape. So basically how this works at this point is I can be in the state park until basically 10 p.m. Because only registered campers are allowed here now uh, after 10 p.m. So I can pretty much do whatever I want. But oh, I do need to get a site ready to go. I don't know if I want to do it yet because it's still early. I mean, it's 11, 12. I could make it down to the city in a, you know a good four hours. It doesn't give me very much options. I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay here. Maybe I might go for a powered site or something because I gotta charge all those batteries. <laughs> Need more outlets, and then if I try to do it with the car, I'm gonna have to run the car, which is going to use fuel. So I might as well just get a powered site, right? I mean, I gotta make my way up to the park office and. So they can smell me and tell me to take a shower. <laughs> so I've been walking for so long and whatnot. I'm not exactly sure if I know how to uh, 
try for manual transmission anymore, but let's see if <laughs> let's see if I can figure it out. Clutch. Put it in reverse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've still got it. I'm not gonna lie. It feels really weird to be driving right now. <laughs> Made it up to the park office. <laughs> it's not a bad beard, huh? All right, so the ranger said that I could go ahead and take a shower and then I'm gonna just reserve a spot at the campsite with the online system. Oh my God, this is gonna be fantastic. Oh, except for, I don't have a towel. Right, I forgot about that. Maybe maybe they sell something that I could use as a towel, I don't So know. since I forgot a towel, which I cannot believe I did, <laughs> I got some uh, materials to use as a towel to dry myself off with that I got from the ranger. <laughs> okay, so to go through here, I'm gonna put on my uh, new Minnesota State Parks t-shirt and I'll come back later. You gotta let it run for a second before you hop in there. That is gonna be cold, cold, cold water. <laughs> Alright everybody, this is my first shower in 14 days. I'm representing Minnesota State Parks, baby. Love y'all. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find pizza in town or something or I'll just go to my sister's place, the restaurant, which is supposed to be pretty fantastic. So, Grand Marais, I guess, is where I'm going. I don't know. So the, uh, the corduroys, those rags that I got from the ranger, um, they work. They just leave a bit of fuzz behind. <laughs> I'm totally going to Grand Marais for pizza. Might shed a tear when I eat it. I'm ha I'm noticing that I'm having some issues driving. I mean, it's weird. It's really weird being back in a car. But when I make it to 61 and have to speed up, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to Pretty see what happens. <laughs> The fog's rolling in. That was excellent. <laughs> but now my camera's covered in pizza grease. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is pretty much my power setup for now. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should do something to uh, make that more convenient so I can just plug in at whatever places. Any ideas? I would like to thank Ranger Pete at Cascade River State Park for going above and beyond to make my experience here awesome. He's done a lot of things for me. He's really helped out. He's been looking after my car. He's been making sure that uh, I'll be safe out there. He's also given me a lot of information around the area and also about the uh, forest around. And I'm gonna do Eagle Mountain and he had all sorts of information on that. So thank you Pete a lot. You've been a great help for my experience out here. And uh, to everyone else at Cascade State Park, you've done a very, very excellent job providing services. Thank you so much. Just going through my stuff. This is stuff I'm gonna try to return. This is stuff that goes in the pack that I'm cleaning out, going through the trunk. This is all dirty clothes that gotta go. This is actually food. More stuff that I gotta go through. My down bag is finally getting uh, time to breathe. I've had this sitting, sitting in that food bag just waiting for me. 
Oh, I'm going to enjoy this one.